Hello, AP Calculus folks. Um, we have day 23 of the flip classroom. And what we have here is a, an alternative way to do the water tower problem. Um, normally, we would have to use two triangles, tangent ratios and substitution. But what we're going to use now is oblique trigonometry. So um, let's draw the picture. If you look at the problem, it says Joe sights the top of the water tower to have an angle of elevation of 30 degrees. He moves 500 feet closer. And the angle of elevation is now 50 degrees. So I'm going to draw the picture. This angle is 50 degrees. This angle here is 30. We've set this problem up a lot of times. This um, distance here is 500. Now, what we used to do is have to make up two separate right triangles. This is an alternative way using oblique trigonometry. And what we're going to do is work on finding this length right here because we know that this angle is 130 degrees. If we know that's 130 degrees, then we know this angle here is, because we have 130 degrees, 30 degrees, we know the other angle has got to be 20 degrees to make 180. So this angle is 20 degrees. As a result, we can find now what length L is of our right triangle. When we do that, I'm just going to draw a short, you know, little schematic here. This is 500. This angle here is 30. 130. Uh, this angle is 20 degrees. We're going to use a law of sines. So we have tw um, 500 over the sine of 20 equals um, the unknown length. And uh, this is L here. I should just make that L over the sine of its opposite angle, which would be 30 degrees. As a result, we can cross multiply and quickly find that length instead of doing a system of equations like we did before. So we have sine of 30 times 500 all over the sine of 20. Length L will be Well, I'm going to pause the video and, um, and calculate it, and then when I come back, we should both have the value. Okay, so length L is 700 and 30, um, 0.95, so we can round that up to 731 feet. So now we're going to solve for the height. When we solve for the height, we now have a right triangle where we know the hypotenuse is 731.31 well, 731 feet. The height is what we're looking for, and this angle is 50. So now we're back into right triangle trig. We have, um, that's the opposite side. This is a hypotenuse. So we're going to use the sine of 50 degrees is equal to um, h over 731 and now h is just a matter of cross multiplying and with the calculator we'll just type that in real quick 731 times the sine of 50 And that's 559, let's call it 600 feet. So hopefully this has helped you understand another way that we could find the height of a water tower. Look forward to hearing your comments and make sure that you understand this way to do it as well because this is an alternative way to do this problem on our upcoming test.